hello viewers welcome to my channel today we shall be looking at addition and subtraction of binary numbers binary numbers are numbers in base 2 and as we know base 2 numbers are made up of two digits and what are those two digits 0 and 1 so you cannot have 2 in base 2 so the highest digit you can find in base 2 is what 1 take note of that like we explained in our previous video, the highest digit you can find in base 3 is 2. The highest digit you can find in base 4 is 3. So the highest digit you can find in any base is always 1, less than the base number in question. Alright, so today we'll be directing our focus on binary numbers, which are called base 2 numbers. Now, to do these uh, additions and subtractions, we need to take note of some of these important keys in addition and subtraction of numbers in base 2 binary numbers the keys are as follows 0 plus 0 is 0 1 plus 0 is 1 as we know but 1 plus 1 you know is not 2 I know someone that might say 2 no in binary number, I'm talking about base 2 now, this particular key is specially meant for base 2 numbers, not for any other base, but only base 2 numbers, binary. 1 plus 1 is equal to 1, 0. But some students do call it 10. It is not 10 in actual sense, but 1, 0. Why is it so? Ordinarily, 1 plus 1 is supposed to be 2, as we know in a normal calculation. But being that it is in base 2, we cannot have the result 2 because the highest number you can find in base 2 is 1. So how do we reconvert it back to base 2? So all you need to do is to divide this number that you got by the binary. And binary is represented by what? 2. So now that will now be 2 that we have as the result of this divided by 2 binary. What will it give us? That will give us 1 remainder 0. That makes it 1, 0. That's why we have it as 1, 0. But some students do call it 10 to make it simple for them to be able to do their calculations. I hope that is very clear. Then for the next key, which is the last one we have here, 1 plus 1 plus 1. Ordinarily, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is supposed to give us 3. But we cannot write 3 in base 2. So how do we convert it back to what it should be? That will then be 3 that we got here divided by the base in question, which is 2. But we are talking about binary. So 3 divided by 2 will give us 1 remainder 1. That's why we have it as 1 is 1. That's 1, 1. So students do call it 11. So as you can see, 1 plus 1 in binary number is not 2. Rather, it is 1, 0, which sometimes some students call it 10. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1, 1. Some students do call it 11. Alright, so looking at this one, 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is still the same thing as 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. I hope the keys are quite clear because it's going to help us to be able to do these calculations. Now let's get started. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button so that the subsequent videos you'll be able to see the notifications. Alright, so now number 1. Here we have 1101 base 2 plus 1001 base 2. Now let's do the addition. 1, 1, 0, 1 in base 2 added to 1, 0, 0, 1 all in base 2. Addition. Remember our keys. 1 plus 1 is 10, right? Which we call 1, 0, not 10 in actual sense. So 1 plus 1, that's 10. You write 0, carry 1. Then 1 plus 0 plus 0 will give us 1. 1 plus 0 will give us 1. Then 1 plus 1, according to our key, is 1, 0. Or sometimes they call it 10. So this is our answer in base 2. I hope this is quite clear. You can 
rewind the video and watch it once again. Then let's go to number two. Maybe you can give uh, number two a try. Pause the video and give it a try. Pause the video and give number two a try. All right, so number two. Here we have one, 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 zero. Then in the other one, we have one, one, zero, one, one. It's good you start the arrangement from the back. But sometimes some students will begin it from here. That will disorganize the whole arrangement. All right, so let's do the addition. All in base 2. Remember our key. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 10. That is 0 carry 1. 1 plus 1, 10. That's 1, 0. Plus 0, that will 10. So that makes it 0 carry 1. Then 1 plus 1 plus 1, as we have it here, 11. That is 1 carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1, that will give us 11. That is 1 carry 1. Then 1 plus 1, that makes it what 10. As we have it in our key, in base 2. That becomes the answer to the question. I hope this is very clear. All right, pause the video. Once again, and maybe you can give it a try again. All right, so let's uh, go to number three, which is subtraction. Number three. You have to pay very close attention to this very subtraction aspect. One, one, zero, one, one. One, zero, one zero one this is subtraction in base two how do we treat this one wow that's really good now looking at it here one minus one is still zero as we know one minus zero is still the same as one but zero cannot minus one that's where we are going to do some technical work so you have to pay very close attention 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. 0 cannot minus 1. 0 cannot minus 1. So all we need to do is to do some sort of borrowing. We have to borrow 1 from the immediate next. We have to borrow 1 from here. All right, so how do we do that? Pay close attention to this. For example, if you have... Uh, 91 minus 56. What do you normally do in this case? 1 cannot minus 6. What do you do? You borrow 1 here. When you remove 1 here, how many will be remaining? 8. Then you put that 1 here. It becomes what? 11. 11 minus 6 will give you 5. That will make it 8 minus 5 will give you 3. That becomes what? 35. It works similarly in base numbers but in a different dimension now look at what is different between the two of them in base 2 we are working with base 2 in base 2 when you borrow one from another number to the next what you have borrowed is no longer one what you have borrowed becomes two because you are treating base 2 if we are handling base 3, for example, and you borrow 1 in base 3, that 1 you borrowed is no longer 1. That 1 becomes what? 3, because you are treating base 3. If you are working with base 7, and you borrow 1, that 1 you borrowed is no longer 1. It becomes 7. So the base in which you are working on translates to become the number borrowed. Now let's do the practical example here. 0 cannot minus 1. So what do we do in this instance? We have to borrow 1 from here. Remove 1 here. You have 0 remaining. Put that 1 you have borrowed here becomes what? 2. But when you borrow 1 in basis and take it to another, it is no longer 1. 
it becomes the base you are talking about. In this case, we are talking about base 2. So the one we borrow from here come to the next to become what? 2. I hope it's very clear. Then 2 minus 1 will give us what? 1. As you can see, 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. That becomes your answer in base 2. Somebody may ask a question whether these two zeros are relevant. Those two zeros are insignificant. You can choose not to write them. You can choose not to write them. So your answer could be 1, 1, 0, base 2. Or you write it as 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, base 2. And that is the answer to this particular one. Some students normally have issues with subtraction, but I believe that this one is making it much simpler. Now let's go to number four. Maybe you can pause the video and give number four a try. All right, so let's go to number four. Question number four. Here we have one, one, zero, zero, one. All in base two, then one, one, one in base two. Subtraction. Wow, how do we go about this one? Remember our keys. So what happens here is that 1 minus 1 will give us 0. As we already know, 0 cannot minus 1. So we have to borrow. We can't borrow from here. Rather, we can borrow from here. Because it's a valuable number. So when we remove 1 from 0, I mean 0 and 1 from from this, 0 will remain. I hope you know that. Remove 1 from here, 0 will be remaining. Take that one you have borrowed. Remember what we said. When you take the one you borrowed here, it becomes what? Two. Wow. Then you remove one from here because your destination is here. Remove one from here. One will be remaining. Put it here becomes what? Two. So at each stage, you carry a number to another. That becomes what? Uh, the base number you are discussing on. Now, two minus one will give us what? One. 1 minus 1 will give us 0. 0, you bring it down. Then 1, you bring it down. This becomes your answer in base 2. I hope this is quite clear. Alright, so we are, we'll be drawing the cutting here today. In our next video, we shall be discussing multiplication and division of binary numbers. That will give us a broader knowledge and the understanding of what a binary number is all about. After that, we will now move to other bases, which include base 3, base 4, up until hexadecimal. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. It's at the right bottom uh, corner of your page. There, Click on it to support us so that when the videos are coming, you'll be getting the notifications. Thank you so very much for listening. Bye.